And what you feed that system might be just as important as what you feed yourself. Your gut is harmed to trillions of microbes, most of them living in your large intestine. And they're not just hanging around. They help regulate inflammation, train your immune system, even communicate with your brain. There are thousands of different species and you want the right ones in the right balance. They catch different microbes, eat different things. And if you're not feeding the ones you need, you lose them and with them the benefits they bring. So what do they eat? Plant fibers. And no, it's not just soluble and insoluble. Fiber is way more complex than that. There are resistant starches, inulin, beta-glucans and many more. Each one comes from a different kind of plant and each one feeds a different group of microbes. And this is where most of us fall short. When we think of fiber, we think of pooping. And yeah, you can do a nice potty if you hit your 30 grams a day from a handful of high fiber foods. But that doesn't mean you're feeding your microbes well. And it doesn't mean you're building a resilient microbiome. In the American Gut Project, the largest microbiome study to date, people who ate 30 or more different plant foods per week had far more diverse microbiomes than those who didn't. And that kind of diversity, it's been linked to lower inflammation and better metabolic health and stronger immunity as we age. But the real takeaway is this, different fibers, different foods, different benefits.